Hi everyone, Dennis Sarasen here, and today we're going to be talking about imaging the calcaneofibular ligament, otherwise known as the CFL. As with my previous talks, I recommend two resources. First of all, the ESSR guidelines on musculoskeletal imaging, and in this case for the ankle, and also ultrasoundcases.info. And here are the images from the ESSR guidelines for imaging the ankle joint. So typically you have the foot in a dorsiflex position and this tensions the CFL to bring it into a more superficial position. Over the top, you should see the perineal tendon. And if the calcaneofibular ligament is intact, you should see the perineal tendons being pushed up. If the CFL is not intact, then you should see the perineal tendons sit in the same position and there shouldn't be any changes. You're looking to see if you can see a linear structure running between the distal end of the fibula and the calcaneum. In practice, this is how I would position the patient. I would ask the patient to lie down in a supine position with the foot planted on the examination couch. If you have the knee bent and a support beneath the knee, this should hopefully make it much more stable and comfortable when undertaking the imaging. I would then use a linear transducer to look at the calcaneofibula ligament. Ideally, if you have a linear hockey stick transducer, this should make the imaging much easier due to the smaller footprint. What you're hoping to see is the ligament sitting between the distal end of the fibula or the lateral malleolus and the calcaneum. Often, because the ligament is very close to the bone, you might see it almost like it's running along the bone and you might have to adjust the transducer to various angles to see its full integrity. As in the ESSR guidelines, it's useful to ask the patient to dorsiflex the foot. This then tensions the ligament pushes the perineal tendons up, and it's a further indicator as to the overall integrity of the CFL. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks again, and I'll see you all soon.